Sasha here for NetworkNews.com. I'm right now in the VR Labs uh, in Taipei and I'm going to take a look at their new chipset that's the VR VX900 and the GPU is the uh, Chromotion HD 2.0. So this is going to be announced I think on Monday and just to let you know about the performance um, why don't we take a look at an HD Mini 210 with a Broadcom Crystal HD card. So most of you guys are familiar with that you can use for, or you can buy for 25 bucks and then you can also use 720p or 1080p. But mostly only locally because uh, when you're using web content with it, this is going to happen here. So here is this little HP Mini 210 with a Broadcom card, the uh, Broadcom Crystal HD. Now look at this. That's a 720p uh, video, the Avatar trailer, and here we go. So here's the frame rate. So this is running like and 20 frames per second. Oh, it's even going down a little bit. So it's dropping some frames, right? And I'm only running 720p, believe me, it would be worse with 1080p. So um, now let's take a look at the VIA system. Here is this little board, it's a prototype, uh, running the VIA Nano uh, U3100 CPU. It's uh, clocked at 1.2 gigahertz right now. So, and here is the same video, Avatar, this one, 1080p. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. So here we go. So this is running at about, I would say 23, between 25 frames per second. And here's the CPU usage. So I think that's pretty decent. By the way, we would see the first systems uh, of it uh, during Computex. You should see a couple of uh, net tops and even netbooks with this. But I think in general, we uh, would mainly aim uh, at net tops. And of course, the motherboard would be a little bit smaller then. But you know what? Let's go back to the Intel system. And I'm going to show you a local file. Oh, watch out, let's get rid of this one here. Here we go, let's close this browser to save all the system resources that are available. And uh, I think it was this one here. Okay, here we go. This is a huge 1080p file uh, running at, oh, the bitrate is 80 megabytes uh, per second. So this is just huge. And as you can see, um, yeah, this little Broadcom card or the HP has quite some problems with it and can't really do a playback. Now let's go back to the VIA system again. Here we go. Okay, here's a full screen. So this is running smooth as silk and look here at the CPU, it's always below 50%. So they really optimized um, the GPU on this system and that's quite interesting to see because I think, especially for laptops, you know, some more GPU performance is uh, very important and yeah, I can't wait to finally see some products uh, coming out with a new VR VX900 and this uh, Chromotion HD 2.0 GPU because uh, that's, that offers you quite some decent performance. Okay, let's take a look at the sample board again and hopefully let's take a look at some uh, real systems doing Computex um, in June. So this is Asha for NetbookNews.com uh, with a new VR VX900 platform. Thanks for watching.